Hi and welcome to this Markup RXP video, part 2 of an overview of the new version 0.5. So we finished the last video uh, showing you how you can assign uh, colours to symbols and we showed also the, the symbol list that those colours exist in on that page. So this is page 3. But uh, this is a multi-page document. Um, and in this multi-page document, it has a, a picture page as page one, a key is page number two, and the last three pages are all just identical. I've just duplicated the pages up to give an example of a multi-page document. So we just cancel that. So the way the Markup RxP works is it looks at each page individually and it finds the chart on the page and then it, it will mark up that chart ready for you to mark symbols off. So if we go to the next page, which obviously will look pretty much the same. How do we select symbol in symbols on this page? Well, as before, we go to our symbol search. So we just enable the symbol search button and we select the symbol that we're interested in. And what Markup RxP will do here is if we click on that symbol, it will search for that symbol in your list of symbols, uh, which are available at the top. And if it finds a match, it will then assign that color to your selected symbol. So it's found three symbols on the page and it's assigned the basic color to that symbol. And we can repeat this process for any symbol on the page. So if again, if we're wanting to search for a new symbol, we hit the symbol search button and then we select our new symbol. And there it's found this particular symbol is red. So it's assigned the basic two color to it and it's identified that there's 64 on the page. Now, that's great, and you could do uh, the same process. You could deselect the symbol, and you could search for a new symbol, say the stem, and you could go through that same process. But you can achieve um, matching these symbols up in a slightly different way. If you click on the symbol list, we're now seeing this is the symbol list for page four. And you can see that we've got the numbers calculated for uh, the, the chevrons, and for the petals here, we've got the 64 calculated. Uh, this was the currently selected uh, symbol, which is highlighted in this row. But what we've also got is, uh, well, there's two things. There's this information here, which we can drill down and see a little bit more information about the symbols. I'll touch on that in a second. But you can see here that the W, uh, we don't have any counts for that. And that what this is saying is that the, the stem hasn't been calculated or the numbers for the stem haven't been calculated on page four. On page three, they were already calculated, but on this particular page, we haven't. And what we can do is we can click on this number and it will update the counts. But what I want to show you just before that is we can look at the information panel for this particular symbol. And what this shows is a little bit more detail. So it says this is our... W symbol, which is assigned color basic nine, which is green. And on the current page, as you can see here, we haven't calculated the totals. So the total is zero, done is zero, and remaining is zero. So it's, nothing's being completed. But if you remember, I showed you that this chart has five pages, but there's only three chart pages. And what it's telling us is there's only one of those three chart pages that have been scanned. And of that, we have 39 symbols that it's found and we completed them because we used the, the config option to update those symbols. So it thinks that 100% is completed for what pages have been currently scanned. But there are two pages left to scan in order to get a full visibility of this symbol in your document. We also need to scan pages four and pages five. Well, we're on currently on page four, but we haven't scanned page four as yet. So let's close that down and let's scan on page four. So just click on the warning triangle. Page four updates. And now if you go back to information, you can see now that the current page is 39 where we've done none because we've just updated the numbers. We've scanned two of three chart pages. So now it's saying you are 50% complete, but you have one page left to scan, which is number five. Okay, so this is how you can tell because you have to build up the overall picture for your chart to see how many symbols exist across all of your pages. Okay, now this is great when you've got uh, you know three symbols, it's a very easy process to manage, but if you've got more symbols than that, 
how would you go about selecting all of those symbols and updating all of those symbols if you had, say, 80 or 100 symbols? Well, if we no jump over to page 5, which is the last page in this chart, let's just zoom in. No, we don't want to do that. Let's just zoom in here. And we come straight into the chart. You can see that none of the symbols for this page have been updated. So as a shortcut, what you can do is you can select each individual symbol just by either clicking on the symbol or alternatively, if you want to select them all in the list, click the symbol in the header and that will select all of them in the list. To deselect, you can press them again. Um, so we'll just select them all like so. And then you have the option here, which is our refresh uh, symbol button. So if we click that, you can then see that will just run through the list and it will update all the symbols on that page for you. Now, we did have this automated every time you went to a new page. But if you've got 80 or 100 symbols, it may take a little time to run. So we've given you the manual option to, to choose how you want to update these symbols on your page. And once they're updated, we can now go to that W again. And you can see that on this page, again, there's 39 completed, which is 0%, uh, 39 on the page, but none done. But here you've got a total of 117 across um, uh, the overall chart. And here you can see you've done 39 of them. There's 78 remaining, and it gives you the percentage. And you've scanned all of the pages in your chart. So you now know that you're up to date, and you've got a total count of how many of this particular symbol is left to do. Now, the other things that we have um, that we've added in, uh, obviously, we have a key uh, which we've added in and we can see these are actually DMC numbers. So one of the things that, that you can do is you can change the numbers in the markup. So let's say we pick um, this particular symbol. So you've got an active symbol and he's assigned a basic number four. But if you come across to the key um, here, is it gonna go away? there we go. So we come across to the key. You can see that this symbol is actually DMC 973. So let's click on there and we can go to 973 and click OK. And there is DMC 973. And then we can select to clear the symbol search. We select our new symbol and we can go over to the key on here. And you can see in this key, here's the symbol up here, which is DMC 3801. So this is just another way, 3801. It's just another way of entering the numbers and the final symbol that I'm just going to update, which is the, uh, the green stem. And we can hop over to the key. So here we've got DMC 701. 701, like so. So now when we look at our list, you can see that they are ordered with the proper DMC numbers. So we can click and we can either order them by what's left to do. We could order them by done. Obviously, nothing's been done as yet. Or we can order them by color. And you can see it puts them in the correct color order if that's the, the, the orientation that you want to see them in. Uh, you, can, you can look and you can order them by, um, by these numbers. Or you can even order it by the name if uh, if that's how you would want to see them. So there's just a few different options for um, how you can view the information on the symbols list. Uh, we also have the ability where you can change the color. So there we have DMC 701. So you can click on the actual color here and you can come in and that was DMC 701. So let's just do it by order and see what other colors are near 701. So you might decide that actually I would like 702. That's a better color. And you can now see you can update the symbol colors there. Um, so the last thing I'd like to show you uh, in here is we have all of these symbols highlighted here. So we can go to our markup and we can just start marking them up like that. Now what you see here is these symbols remain uh, selected even though we've marked them up. So we've added another option into configuration, which is basically it says ignore marked cells. So if you keep an eye on here and we ignore the marked cells, you can see the marked cells are now, as we mark them up, they just get covered 
in the actual color that you've chosen and they are no longer highlighted when you select that symbol so you can see you've got 22 symbols left and as you come through here you can see now we've got 18 symbols left these are the 18 symbols you have left to do and obviously you can change uh, the symbol search color if you want to and you can change the highlighting and make it a circle or whatever you would like to see to make it easier to identify which symbol needs marked off. Um, and that concludes part two of uh, the overview of uh, new release version 0.5. Thanks very much for watching.